Hello friends, this video on cell part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the next important organelle is mitochondria. And this mitochondria, they are called the powerhouse of the cell. So let us talk about it. So these are rod shaped organelles bounded by two membranes. So here you have one outer membrane and one inner membrane. So you see here this is the outer membrane and this one is the inner membrane. So this is outer membrane and this one is inner membrane. And in between these two membranes the space which is there that is called the peripheral space. So this entire structure which you see in this on the screen is the mitochondria. Now, why is it named mitochondria? The word mito, it means thread. And the term chondria, what does it mean? It means granule. So, it is something like some thread-like structures with granules over it. So, that is why it is mitochondria. So, we will get to know this more when we actually look at its structure. So, you see the granules here are in the form of ribosomes which are present in the form of granules over the mitochondria. And what are the threads? So these structures which you see on the mitochondria, they are like a mixture of th threads or combination of a lot of threads. So that's why it is named mitochondria. So the number of mitochondria which can be present in one cell is variable. So one cell can have one mitochondria, one cell can have multiple mitochondria. So the number can actually vary. If you talk about its shape, it is mostly cylindrical in shape. So mostly cylindrical in shape, sometimes it is in the shape of a sausage. So mostly either like this or like this. So something of this sort. So generally mitochondria is uniformly distributed in the cytoplasm. So it is not that if this is your cell, so mitochondria is more or less uniformly distributed. It is not that in some area there are a lot of mitochondria and in the remaining areas there are no mitochondria. So that is not the case. And it is always surrounded by a double membrane as you can see outer membrane and inner membrane. And chemically if you look at the composition of each of these membranes they are similar to the plasma membrane. That is these membranes are also made up of lipids and proteins. In fact if you look at it most of the membranes are made up of lipids and proteins. So now let us see where exactly they are located in animal cell. So in animal cell this is where you have mitochondria. So this yellow structure you see the entire yellow structure with a green structure inside. So this entire thing is the mitochondria. So here in this particular cell you can see two mitochondria. This is another mitochondria that you can see here. So that's why I told that there can be multiple mitochondria present inside a cell. In plant cells also mitochondria is present, so this is mitochondria. So this is one mitochondria, this is another mitochondria. Now what is the significance of mitochondria? So these mitochondria are called the powerhouse of the cell. Now why are they called powerhouse? Because this particular structure generates energy and that's how the cell receives energy. So just now in the previous topic when we were talking about lysosomes, we were talking that if there is lack of energy, if there is no input of energy, in that case the cell gets destroyed. So the cell needs constant input of energy. So from where will this energy get generated? So somebody within the cell needs to generate the energy. So that energy is generated by mitochondria. So let us see how important are they. So as I said, they have the powerhouse of the cell. Why? Because they release energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate molecules. Now we all know what is ATP. Even if you don't know, so just know this, that ATP is nothing but the energy currency of our body. Like, what do we mean by currency? For example, you want to buy something. So how do you buy your stuff? You have to give your currency note. Now this currency can be rupee, this currency can be dollar, it can be pound. So the currency can be different, but you need some currency to exchange stuffs. Similarly here, how do we measure energy? That okay, how much energy is being produced? 
Now, for measuring energy, we have a unit called joule. But when we talk about production of energy inside the cell, we talk in terms of a energy currency, and that energy currency is ATP molecules. So we talk in terms of number of ATP molecules which are being produced, or the number of ATP molecules which gets utilized in a particular process. So ATP is a molecule that is adenosine triphosphate. So three phosphate groups attached to the adenosine molecule forms adenosine triphosphate. So you will learn about the structure and etc. chemical composition of ATP in your higher classes. So what mitochondria does? It actually converts glucose. So this is what happens during the process of respiration. So glucose is oxidized to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy and this energy is nothing but around 38 ATP molecules. So that is what happens during respiration and this generation of ATP molecules takes place in mitochondria. That is why mitochondria is called powerhouse of the cell because it supplies energy so it gives power to the cell. So it is the powerhouse. It can synthesize its own proteins as they have their own DNA and ribosome. Now for synthesizing proteins, one important thing is ribosome because they are the site of protein synthesis. And for protein synthesis, we also need DNA. So from DNA, RNA will be produced. From RNA, proteins will be produced. And both of these are present inside mitochondria. Therefore, mitochondria can synthesize their own proteins. They are not dependent on the proteins which are being, which are coming from other uh, organelles. Like we saw that endoplasmic reticulum, they also synthesize proteins and lipids. And then they are packaged and sent to other parts by Golgi bodies. So mitochondria is not dependent on anybody else because it can synthesize and produce its own proteins. So that is why mitochondria is called the powerhouse of the cell. So here you can see there are some specific particles called ATP synthetase particles which are present in the mitochondria and they help in the process of ATP synthesis. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.